Hello, welcome to the Quakes Motel. My name's Conan. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a really simple MIDI setup which connects your door to your MPC and enables you to hit play on your door and it will hit play on your MPC. Let's jump in. So I think the best thing for me to do is to describe my workflow because everybody's workflow is different and this MIDI setup is specifically for my workflow. However, I don't think it's an alien workflow. I think it's a workflow that quite a lot of people use. Then I'll go through the settings in the MPC and then I'll go through the settings in Studio One. Now, obviously, if you don't use Studio One, the settings in your door are gonna be slightly different, but the concept is exactly the same. All I'm doing is sending start and stop MIDI information from Studio One into my MPC to say, you can start and stop now. It's as simple as that. It's the most basic MIDI setup ever, start and stop. Simple. So the reason why I like this particular setup is quite an old school setup. Is I like to be I like to have the standalone MPC or my S2400, and I like to write my beats in there. I also do a lot of my sample work, sample chopping work, and I have my hands-on standalone in my MPC, which I love, and I have all the advantages of that. But by linking it with my door, I can then write my bass lines. I have access to all my VST synths. Uh, the editing in my door for synth work and you know writing leads, instruments, all that kind of stuff, I personally find it a lot easier. So I have the advantages of using my door and all the advantages of using my MPC in standalone. Now I know you can use controller, you, there are different ways to link it up via USB, all those kind of things. Um, and that they're not wrong. This is just my way, this is the way that I do it. And the reason why I wanted to show this is because I've seen a lot of people ask about using this very, very basic setup. And I wanted to show how easy it is to do and how basic it is. So you have your MPC as a standalone. You never have to go into controller mode. And then, then you have all the advantages of your door. By having it set up like this as well, obviously I can record from my MPC directly into my door as well. And it'll all be synced up all in time, etc. Now, very, very importantly, make sure the tempo on your MPC is set to the same tempo in your door. So for instance, in this case, I've got 120 BPM in my MPC, so I've got my door set to 120 BPM as well. Just make sure you do that. It's quite important because otherwise when you've got loop and things on, things can start going a bit crazy. It's just a good habit to get into anyway to make sure everything is done like that because you do get a little bit of drift sometimes as well. That happens, it's not, you know, it, it just does happen. So, what I want to be able to do is hit play in my MPC, hit record in my MPC, write my beats in my MPC, etc. And if I do that right now, start and stop works in my MPC exactly as it should, and so does record when I'm writing stuff in my MPC. Hitting record, etc. is not going to record things in my door because it's not linked up in that way. It's completely standalone as I want it and as I love it. But if I now, I've got a QWERTY keyboard here which is out of shot. If I hit play on my QWERTY keyboard to start my door, it will also start and stop my MPC. Simple as that. That's all I want to be able to do. I don't want to be able, to, I don't want to have to press record. I don't want to do anything else. I literally just want to hit start and stop. So it's really, really basic, even if you know nothing about MIDI. So your MIDI cable comes out of your interface, MIDI out, and into the MIDI in on your MPC. And I'll show you the settings in the MPC. So if you go into the menu, go into preferences, go down to MIDI sync, at the top, you've got input ports. This is all you need to worry about. So you have your input port here, which you can rename. I've just called it CM MPC one in and scroll down to sync receive. If you have that set to MIDI clock, now you can set it to MIDI time code and it will still work. However, it does create a bit of a delay and you don't want that if you want to be able to write keys over the top. So, and also you only really need the MIDI clock. It's just something really, really simple. Just start and stop. But you can use MTC and I, there are reasons why you use MTC, but I'm not gonna go into it in this video. So set that to MIDI clock, set your receive to MMC and that's it. For this workflow, that's all you need to do. Simple as that. Now, in Studio One, this is where things get a little more complicated, but not super complicated. The only reason why I say complicated is because obviously for your door, if you're not using Studio One, it's gonna be a little bit different. 
But if we go into preferences, obviously a lot of this is happening off, off camera because I'm using my QWERTY keyboard, but you will see it come up on screen. So if I hit preferences in Studio One, it will come up with this. I want to go to external devices. And as you can see, I already have my MPC one set up here. Device model, device name, receive from, don't have to do that because I'm not receiving anything into my door, I'm just sending to. And I'm sending to the out on my interface. As you can see, it's a really, really cheap interface, but that's all I need. I need it to send MIDI clock, MIDI clock start, MIDI time code. The way that I set that up, let's just say I was adding a new instrument, I would go into here, I would pick from here. Now, if it's not in the list, that, that doesn't matter. You can just rename it here, it's not a problem. You don't need to do receive from or anything because again, you're not receiving anything, you're just sending. So, as you can see, you then click send mini clock, send mini clock, da 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 da, just make sure those are all ticked. And then, as you see, it comes up and it will be set up in your instrument. So it's as simple as that. But what it enables me to do, like I said, is hit play on my door the, this is the most exciting thing though. So I've written my beat in my MPC. Let's say I just want to, I don't know, let's drag in a Juno, Alturius Juno, and I have a keyboard which operates the Juno. Obviously that's something completely different, but that's easy enough to set up. And you've probably already got that set up in most of your doors anyway. And then when I hit play on my MPC, sorry, when I hit play in the door rather, Simple as that. So I'd be able to record those chords into the door and then when I press play, those chords will play back and the MPC will obviously play. But what I can also do, because I've got it set up, my MPC audio out is going into my interface. I can also record as well. So you can see now I'm getting a level there so I could just easily record my MPC. That is one way of doing it. I have actually made a video on how to transfer your tracks from your MPC into your door. You can record them analog like this, well, sort of analog I guess it is because you're using uh, digital to analog converters and then analog to digital converters. So I guess it's analog, but there are other ways of doing it. But if I did want to do it like this, and this is how I actually record my S2400, which is why I've got this set up. This is my recording template. Anyway, that's another video. But what this is enabling me to do, this really, really simple MIDI setup, setting it up so that my door sends start and stop information to my MPC is that I can write standalone my beats in my MPC, but then as soon as I wanna jump into my door and start writing more complicated chords and I want access to all my VSTs, I can do that. It's all synced up, it's all in time, and it just makes the process so, so much easier. So there you have it. I don't think that was too complicated. It's the most simple MIDI setup. However, if there was something that I've missed or there's something that you don't understand, please ask in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer your questions and hopefully enlighten you. So thanks for watching. This is the Crates Motel. My name's Conan. Till next time.